Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Vegas Fallen Gaming, and this is my review for Disney Plus's Moon Knight, Episode 4, The Tomb. It picks up with right where we left off from the previous episode. Khonshu is entombed. Mark, Mark, and Steven are left powerless. Layla is the only one unconscious. The only one conscious. And there's some baddies on the way to take them down. We get past the danger and we're off to find the tomb of Ahmet. Which turns out to be the tomb of Alexander the Great, which is pretty awesome. And we get introduced to some protectors of the tomb. These uh, servants, they're pretty cool. I love the whole mummy thing. Uh, we get a reveal, but it's something we kind of already knew that Mark was one of the mercenaries that accidentally killed Layla's father. Uh, Aro kind of lays it out for her, being like, you can't trust Mark, he killed your daddy. And trying to bring her to the dark side. It is also revealed by Steven that Mark has been protecting Layla this whole time for he can't get control of her to make her his avatar, which I love. So as it goes through, uh, Stephen finds the statue of Ahmet inside the mouth of Alexander the Great, which is fucking dope as hell. Uh, Arrow, Harrow comes in and. They have a moment, and then Harrow just shoots Mark twice, point blank, in the chesties. And then we get into a new scene where this low-budget version of Mark, of Stephen Grant's story is being told. It's really weird. This is in a uh, mental institution of some sorts. The doctor is Arthur Harrow. Mark breaks out of it, finds Stephen in a crypt in a room, and then as they're passing another room, they see another crypt, which is more than likely has Jake Lockley in it. Another personality of Mark and Stephen. And then we get a reveal, a reveal of a big hippo deity. That scares the shit out of Mark and Steven. Oh, man, this was a crazy-ass episode. I I really did love everything about this episode. Uh, they They are now moving into the realm of the new comic book run where... Uh, it is, was it all in, uh, Mark's head? Was Moon Knight even a superhero? I kind of like this aspect. I kind of like what Marvel takes from this bit of comic book over this bit of comic book and melds the two. I do really do enjoy it. I thoroughly loved this episode. I'm hyped for episode five. I can't wait. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this episode, guys. Thank you, and see you in our next review.